Hey folks, and welcome to Third Road in Central Patia. It's the beginning of December, uh, so high season is officially here. And I'm um, coming into town today. Um, going to stay at a at a hotel that I've never stayed at before. One that I see pop up quite frequently in the inexpensive ones that I search out in this area, in the in the real central area, right around uh, Soy Bacal, Soy Lanky, Soy Diana, and. Uh, just turned on the soy lanky here and this one is going to be right down here uh, about a block off off to our left and as luck would have it they're doing some construction right here uh, where I need to turn that's a little road work um, not sure what it was they're doing but they sure made a mess it's all dirty here but anyway we're gonna turn left right here between these buildings we're kinda right uh, at the at the east end of Soy Lanky there, right close to 3rd Road. Soy Bacal would just be down another block or two. We turn down here down this alleyway and there's a big hotel uh, back here, a little bit of a landmark called the Vogue Hotel. That's this big one in front of us. That's not where we're staying. We're gonna stay over here at this uh, small hotel with the blue awning here. This is known as Oyo 146. And I'll throw up the, the booking in a minute. It's a uh, long name. It's uh, Ravana Boutique by Sandara. But uh, it's only about three floors of rooms, as you can see, in the lobby and a little parking area out here. Not a whole lot of parking, but enough, I guess. And um, I booked this. Um, I got it for 430 baht total. Uh, again, the Ravana Boutique by Sandera, also known as Oyo 146. And here's the front desk in the lobby. Nice little lobby. They had computers over there you can use, I guess, to, you know, if you had a boarding pass to print out or something. Um, and a, a front desk, uh, pretty standard. They had TV in there. It's a fairly recently updated um, hotel lobby. Um, there's a... Um, there's a shot of the hotel, uh, the uh, TV, and a little sitting area over there where you can eat. There was a menu in the room, so I guess they prepare food. Um, this, there's a sign over here, though, and I apologize for not getting a better uh, a shot of it. But what this basically says is, if you bring a guest, they're going to charge you a 300 baht joiner fee. And that's important because uh, you might want to entertain a guest in your room or something. It's important to know that. And they do publish it right there um, out front. So, uh Let's go upstairs and uh, take a look at the room. I was on the second floor. Just one flight of stairs. There you go, room 202. Yeah, so this room looks like it's, uh, like I said, been recently updated. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at it. Yeah, now you can see it's small. It's on the small side, uh, but 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 nice and and, and rather moder modern, I think. Uh, nice TV, air condition, a little bit of a recess ceiling there with pot lights, giving it that modern feel. It doesn't feel like an old hotel, although I think this building's probably old. It's, I think this building's probably been here for a while. See, we got a little stainless steel refrigerator there. A nice little coffee uh, station here. You can make coffee. You got a hot water kettle. A couple complimentary bottles of water and a telephone. And oh my god, the mother of all safety boxes. Look at this thing. It's almost the size of the refrigerator. Wow. I don't know. I'll, to put it in perspective, I'll put this coffee cup there. I mean, this thing is huge. And you got hangers as well, which is nice. I can't imagine you having any uh, kind of valuable that wouldn't fit in this thing. Look at this. So then we got uh, got a hair dryer down here in the drawer, hiding in the drawer. Okay, that's good in case you need a hair dryer. Got a fairly modern TV here, LG, LG air conditioning. They've got some reading material on your remotes down here. Now the TV, I gotta give them props for this. They had a great choice of channels, a lot of English stations. I saw German, Italian, French, Russian, Chinese. Um, a, a very good selection. If you like TV, they, they've got you covered. And the picture was a decent quality. Let's go take a look at the at the washroom real quick here. Now 
so they, they do have a hot water shower. Looks fairly new. Nice shower head. Yeah, I think this bathroom's been uh, recently updated as well. Fairly uh, modern fixtures. You do have a shower curtain as well, so you're not going to get your uh, toilet seat all wet. Let's see what's outside. Okay, so you got a little balcony here. you got a chair and a table. There's your air conditioning unit. And not a lot to look at out here. You're facing another building, these air conditioning units. I, this building here would probably be the building that faces Soy Lanky. So that, that building's blocking all the noise for you. Um, but consequently, you don't have a view. Yeah, so uh, let's see if we can get a little nap here. So yeah, I'll run through this real quick. Um, it, the room was nice, small, uh, but I think modern enough. Um, great TV, uh, about the best safety uh, security box uh, that I've ever seen, the biggest anyway. I can't imagine that not uh, meeting your needs, if not exceeding your needs. Uh, bathroom was nice. Uh, there was no soap or shampoo provided. I thought that was a little bit odd, but that's okay. I usually bring my own anyway. The 300 baht joiner fee, I think, is worth mentioning. It's just uh, something to know about. If you're somebody who likes to entertain a guest uh, or a special friend in your room, uh, that, that would be an extra uh, fee. So adding that on, it would have been like over 700 baht if I uh, chose to bring a guest. So I think that's worth mentioning. The other thing I found a little bit standoffish was the key deposit. A key deposit sometimes is, uh, I mean, some hotels require key deposits, some don't. I've had uh, key deposits generally about 500 baht. They, the ones that require a key deposit generally ask for a 500 baht. This hotel was a thousand, thousand baht uh, for the key deposit. I didn't have any trouble getting it back when I checked out. I just, uh, like I said, I just thought uh, that was a little bit standoffish. That was, that's a lot of money for a key deposit. Hey, there's Dynamite. He's another vlogger. But anyway, the, the room was nice, and, and, and it was quiet. Having those buildings uh, between the hotel and Soy Lanky really made it nice and quiet. Bed was a bit hard, but that's more of a subjective uh, observation more than anything. Uh, but it was very quiet. Uh, the other thing I think worth mentioning was the... The front desk is not 24 hour, so they give you a little electronic key card type thing. So if you come back late, if you've been out um, and you come back late and the front desk is closed, you can kind of buzz your way back into the building so you can go up to your room. Um, so that means you're, you're probably, you're definitely carrying your room key with you, which is a big, one of those big plastic uh, room key uh uh, key rings or whatever and you got to have that in your pocket all night and you take a chance of losing it I guess but um, I prefer to where there's a 24-hour front desk and you can leave the key with the front desk and You don't have to worry about losing it. It's not in your pocket all night or anything like that. So um, Overall, I think it was a good room for the price uh, a very fair price good night's sleep uh, coffee in the room great TV clean, modern. Uh, just a couple things to mention, though, that I think you probably need to be aware of. And to answer the question of would I stay there again, uh, absolutely. Um, it was clean, comfortable, and quiet. <sighs> a block off of Bacow, right, right on Soy Lanky. Definitely the kind of place that I look for with the right location, the right price. So, um, hope you enjoyed the review. Hope that helps somebody. But uh, either way, want to thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.